My sister Sue, my sister in law Linda, and my brother Roger. Well done, Sean. Well, on the last show, uh, you sort of made a muck of things, didn't you? <laughs> no, you nearly got there, Sean. Nearly again. got there, yeah. But are you going to give the girls a chance to play if you make the major prize round today? Yes, we are today. Uh, who's going to play? Susan? No, Linda. No, Linda? <laughs> Are you sure about this, Linda? Uh, I've been told I have to. Who got the sack? Did Roger get the sack? <laughs> I hope it wasn't for Ma, Roger, because I, I owe you Ma. an apology because <laughs> I was thinking, you know, Ma's as, as a thing, as in a noun. I thought, goodness me, what's a Ma? But of course, you can Ma a copybook. Yes. You can spoil something, can't you? And use Ma in that sense. So everyone who plays Scrabble at home was saying, come on, we know what Ma is. So my apologies, That's Roger. Okay. Accepted, thank you. And now, will you let him play the major prize round, Linda? I'll let him play that. <laughs> Good luck today, champs. They play the Whitney family, folks. See you later. And my wife, Maggie, my sister in law, Carolyn, and my brother in law, Tom. Okay, and best of luck today. Mal loves his motorbike, Smell. Do you have uh, a bike at home? Yes, I do. And you rode one to work for quite a while, didn't you? Yes, for quite a few years. As uh, a police officer? That's right. That's, and what sort of a bike do you have at home now? Oh, I've got a Yamaha, a Yamaha Virago. Did, did you ever own a Harley? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> well, maybe, Maggie, there's something you can save up and buy mail, isn't it, eh? Maybe. Maybe. You'd love to watch your son play soccer for England. That'd be very nice, yes. Uh, is he quite a good soccer player? He's a very good soccer player. Yesterday and they won their championships. So why would he play for England? Well, he wants to go to England at the end of this year and try out. Good. Well, I hope that works out, Maggie. Mm -hmm. And Carol, nice to have you with us. Okay. You're at a party and you walked over a cliff. <laughs> yes, I did. And they couldn't... You and Tom? <laughs> yes, yes. Right, Rob. And, and you went missing from the party for how long, Tom? Half an hour, Half... Rob. <laughs> <laughs> they eventually found us. And what sort of a cliff are we talking about oh, here? Oh, it was about... A big one. Oh, a big one. five-metre drop. It was a fairly substantial uh -huh. <laughs> drop. You got back in one piece. That's We're very pleased piece. to see. That's right. All right, Tom. Lovely to have you with us. They're the challenges, the Whitney's, and they play the Gallagher's on Family Feud, and we're all playing, so let's go. Come on. Let's go, Mel. Oh, oh, good luck to you all today as we play. We have done the survey. We have the top eight answers up on the board. Name something associated with pigs. <laughs> I promise you, we didn't set this up, Mel. Sean. Curly tail. A curly tail? Is there a curly tail on the board? Yes. OK, Mel. Police Sergeant, Sergeant Mel, name something associated with pigs. Bacon. Is bacon on the board? Yes! That's a better answer. Control of the game, Mel. Pass it on. Pass it on let's go. So the champs play. Susan, name something associated with pigs. Sty. Let's see if we have sty up on the board. Yes. Good answer. Well done. Linda. Mud. Yeah, let's try mud on the board. <laughs> Top answer. Well done, Linda. Roger, name something associated with pigs. Squealing. Do we show squealing? Oh, one strike. He was so sure it was there. Sean, what do we have a go at? Oink. Oink. Let's see if we can reveal oink on the board. <laughs> yes! That's well played, Sean. Uh, the one strike is up there, Susan. Name something associated with pigs. Piglets. Do we have the little piglets? <laughs> Two strikes. One more strike, Linda. And uh, Sergeant Whitney and his family, they can steal the points here. 73 points up for grabs, Linda. Name something associated with pigs. Ham. Do we have ham on the board? <laughs> yes. Good answer, Linda. Okay, Rog, two strikes down, and we have two more left to reveal. Name something associated with pigs. Old MacDonald. <laughs> Old MacDonald. Well, we'll give it a go. Is Old MacDonald on the board? No, he's still on the farm. Roger, you missed it. I'm sorry. Here we go. Mal, the chance to have the points. Tom, what do you think? Farm. Carol. Piggery. Maggie. Trough. What do you think, Mal? You can go with one of those, or one of your own answers. Sal. <laughs> Sow, says Mal. We don't have any sows no. here either, do we? No one I'm said not that. Going to say a word. You're going out on your own? 
The Whitney family are going for Sow. If it's on the board, the points are yours. If not, the Gallagher family keep their 76. We have two left. Do we show a Sow on the board? No! Sorry, now. Points go to the Jacks. Well done. Well, two left. What were the answers? Here we go. The board said... Smell, yeah? Pork! Goodness me, we should have had that, shouldn't we? Pork was the one we missed. And no one said that. No, zero points to the Whitney's. The Gallagher family keep their 76 points and they're out front again. And we'll look forward to seeing you right after this one. Cynthia, watch fast forward. It's really funny. Neville loved his car. That's why he had it fully insured with NRMA car insurance, just in case something happened to it out here. Something happened, all right, to Neville. Luckily, NRMA Comprehensive Car Insurance includes Aussie Assist. It provides free emergency assistance for policyholders when they're over 100 kilometres from home. NRMA Aussie Assist arranged to get Neville to a local hospital and had his medical records sent out to him. The 24-hour service gives you immediate access to doctors, nurses and experienced travel advisors. They notified my loved ones and even arranged for one to be with me. NRMA Car Insurance with Aussie Assist. It pays to belong. You know, Diet Light is still the best diet yogurt. Top to bottom. Mmm. Tops in taste and bottom in calories. That's right. Diet Light has the least calories. Known Diet Light, the lightest light. The St George Freedom account has the edge. You pay no account keeping fees. Your personal checks from the savings in your account are free of St George fees. With the Freedom Visa card, you have worldwide access to your savings through automatic teller machines and cashless shopping. Your savings grow with daily interest. At St George, we're working harder to make your money work smarter for you with the Freedom Account. What a great idea. It's the hottest, fastest sports sensation. Grip ball with the high impact shock absorbing Velcro catches pad that grips. Now you can take the fly ball, the speed ball, the classic catch with Grip Ball. Ask for Grip Ball 1995 from Quality Special Products. Nothing tastes as good as fresh oranges, especially when they're squeezed every day. Daily juice, squeeze daily from fresh oranges. Could a new member of staff have desires on hair flick? And when the heat's on, Renault soon cools things off. Hello, hello, 9.30 tonight on Prime. OK, nice to have you with us, folks. All set for round two, we have the Whitney family on zero and the Gallagher family, 76 points. Let's play Susan. Come on, Maggie. And good luck to you both. Away we go. We've surveyed 100 people. Their top seven answers are on the board. And the question is, name a primitive weapon. Susan. A spear. Is there a spear up on the board? Look at that top answer. You can't better that, Susan. You're part of the game. Pass it down. Pass it over. We're playing, Maggie. Here we go. Carol, the question is, name a primitive weapon. A club. Let's see if we can show a club up on the board. Yes, good answer. Second top response. Well done. OK, Tom, a primitive weapon is what we're after. An axe. Is there an axe up on the board? Good response. Top three. Playing down the board, Mal, doing very well here. Name a primitive weapon. Boomerang. Is there a boomerang up on the board? Oh, strike one. Sounded like a great response, Mal, didn't it? But it didn't match the survey. Maggie, the top seven answers are up on the board. The question, name a primitive weapon. A stone. Let's see if we can show a stone. Yes, that's better. Well done. Carol. A sword. Is there a sword on the board? There's another one. Great game. Two to go, Tom. Just the one strike for a clean sweep of the board. You need two more correct answers. Name a primitive weapon. A shield. Let's see if we can reveal the shield. Oh, two strikes. OK, Mal, one more strike here. And, of course, the Gallagher family can steal the points. 88 up there here in round two. Name a primitive weapon. Bow and arrow. Is there a bow and arrow on the board? Yes! Right, he's happy about that now. All right, there's one left here now, Maggie. If you get this one right, it's a clean sweep of the board. All the points are yours. 
But we do have two strikes, don't forget. Mm. Name a primitive weapon. Mm. Oh, we can't, couldn't beat the buzzer. I'm sorry, Maggie. So here we go, the chance to steal the points, Sean. And I wonder if the family uh, can help you out with a good answer. Name a primitive weapon, Roger. Say a dagger. A dagger. Linda. A slingshot. Susan. A mace. You can choose any one of those, Sean, or one of your own here. What are we going for? Crossbow. Crossbow. Crossbows, said Sean. Uh, William Tell had the crossbow, didn't That's he? Right. So he's ignoring the family, going out. He's, but they're quite happy with that, Sean. <laughs> if the crossbow's up on the board, the Gallagher family steal the points. If not, the Whitney family keep their night. Look, you've done all the work, haven't you? There's only one left up there. Is it a crossbow? Let's have a look. No! <laughs> you deserved that, didn't you? Eh? There was one remaining. What was it? A knife. He was right. The dagger. That's close. Hey, Roger, you were there. 76 points, the Gallaghers. And the Whitney... You're in front here. Look at this. The Whitney's 91 points. We're back right after this. Step three, wedding. Lessons in love. Step four, wedding night. Tonight, a hilarious new episode of Family Matters. The pick-up... Rachel, come out with your dancing shoes on. The come on. Go home! Well, I'm tempted to leave. The romance. You repulse me. So you want to slow dance and neck a little? To the women we love. And to the day when they can stand the sight of us. Full House and Family Matters tonight on Prime. Wouldn't it be great if hair removal was as simple and painless as brushing? It would? Fed up with mitts, hot waxes, razors, bleaches, electrolysis, tweezers? You are? Well, we don't blame you. Introducing Aplon, an amazing all-natural, all-over hair remover that's unbelievably easy and painless to use. And we 100% guarantee that it will leave your skin hair-free and baby smooth for up to 10 weeks, or we'll give you back your money. Up to now, hair removal was quite often not only painful, but expensive. Forget it! Watch as we use Aplon on this man's arm. It's easy, just squeeze a small amount into a ball, spread directly over the hair, count to three, then just slip it off. No redness, no irritation, and no hair for up to 10 weeks. And unlike wax, if you put it in the wrong place, it just slips off with water. For arms, legs, eyebrows, facial hair, underarms, or for a painless bikini line, it's simple. You know, it works, it really does. For years I've looked for that one method that was not only safe but effective. It's Aplon. Most other methods took away the hair but left my skin red and irritated. But Aplon is made from natural ingredients, so no more redness, no more pain and no more allergies. I've tried everything. Shaving can be dangerous, bleaches smell, waxes are messy and tweezers, ouch. But with Aplon, the big production number is gone and so is the hair for months. Finally, there's a product that will keep hair off for up to 10 weeks. A product that is painless, easy to use, totally natural, and best of all, reusable over and over again. Aplon. Hair today, gone tomorrow, is yours for a limited time only for just $29.95. Ring now. Ring 008 024 480. That's 008 024 480. But do not send any money. Ring now. All tonight's losing contestants receive these fabulous prizes. For the gentleman, this handsome pocket watch features a beautifully finished case and full Swiss movement from LGX Watches Australia. For the natural alternative, this cost-effective dehydrator ensures high-nutrient foods all year round from Harvest Made. For the woman on the move, this elegant crocodile print leather attaché case will add a touch of style to your business life from Rydell. Then enjoy your next dinner party with this stylish 30-piece collection of sparkling lead crystal glassware from Bohemia. Each family also receives a new and exciting family feud board game from Corona. All right, good luck to both teams. We have the Gallagher family on 76, and it's the challengers who have the points and lead the way. The Whitney's 91 points. Let's go, Carol. Come on, Linda. And folks, if you're wondering why Linda looks so fit, healthy and well and radiant and vibrant, you're expecting a baby, Linda, aren't you? Yes. And <laughs> she February. asked me to say that because she was worried that people might think she was a little overweight. <laughs> you look great, Linda. Don't worry about it. Good luck to you, Carol. Thank you. Here we go. Double points in round three. And, of course, 200 we need to be the champs today. We've done the survey. We have the top six answers on the board. And after... Uh, 
Surveying 100 people, this was the question. Name something that has a face. Yes, Carol? A clown. Is there a clown on the board? The bottom answer, Carol. So, what do you think, Linda? There are five answers better. A watch. Can we show the watch face? Yes, control of the game. Pass or play, Linda? Play. Play it? And you had to think about that one, didn't you? You weren't yeah. too sure, but we play. Roger, name something that has a face. Clock. Okay, you said watch, didn't you? Is that what we had up there, watch? Now we're trying clock. Let's go to the board and try that. Is clock up there? Yes. And that's a very good answer, isn't it? Well done, Roger. Okay, Sean, name something that has a face. A person. Do we reveal a person on the board? Yes, second top answer. You should be getting excited here, Susan. <laughs> we only need two more. There are no strikes. And if you get these right, you know you're the champs again and you play that major prize round. Name something that has a face. A building. Face of a building. Let's see if we show a building. <laughs> One strike. <laughs> Linda, name something that has a face. A child. Do we show a child on the board? <laughs> Two strikes. One more strike here, Roger. You know what happens. The Whitneys can steal 166 points, and they will be our brand new champions if they get the steal. Name something that has a face. An animal. Let's try an animal. Three strikes. Well, I've given you a fair chance of this, Mal. There are two remaining. What do you think, Tom? Stamp. Stamp, Carol. A doll. Doll, Maggie? The moon. The moon. You can choose any one of those, Mal. Yeah. Or one of your own. The man of the moon, says Mal. OK, if the moon is there, you've got the points and you play the major prize round today. As our brand new champions, it's worth $12,000 in cash and prizes, if you're there. But if the man of the moon isn't there, the Gallagher family are back. You keep the 166 points. There are two answers remaining. The question is, name something that has a face. Do we show the moon? Yes! Yeah. The man in the moon. Well done. <laughs> okay, we've got a smile from everyone now. They're happy about that. There was one left, Mel. I wonder what it was. The last answer. Coin. A coin has a face. Well, there we go. Thank you very much, Roger. Thanks, Rob. Uh, you've been a great... And you've Thank played you. very well. Not only a lovely family, but uh, you've been right up there every time. Thank you very much. Thanks very Linda, much. And you didn't get a chance, did you, to play that major prize round? <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness, she says. Thank you, Susan. Thanks very much. And thank you very much, Sean. You thanks, go away Rob. with what was it, over $10,000 in cash and prize. Thank you. And that's beautiful. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Well, here we are, Mel. You've made it. The major prize round. Have you worked out who's going to play? Yes, I have. Carol and myself. Carol and yourself. Come on, Carol. Come on, Mel. Out the front. Here we go. The team that hopes to take away $12,000 in cash and prizes. Uh, $4,000 in cash, $8,000 worth of prizes. Brand new champions. Can they do it? We'll know when we come back. And we'll see you folks right after this commercial break. This Sunday night, prepare to be thrilled. The world's biggest star in the original blockbuster that started it all. Schwarzenegger is the Terminator, Sunday. If you need a new kitchen, there's only one place to go. That's Neville Kitchens in the King Street Centre, Warrawong. They have the biggest and best showroom display on the South Coast, including the new Galaxy-style kitchen, which is exclusive to Neville. You can also see the Blanco range of appliances, plus lots of other kitchen ideas. So if you're building or renovating, go and see Neville. It's the only place to go. presents the Music for Pleasure series, a fantastic selection of popular music from these original artists. CDs, $12.99, cassettes, $7.99. Paul and Oates, The Monkees, Dolly Parton, Steely Dan, B.B. King, John Denver, Kenny Rogers, Mamas and Papas, Tom Petty, Kenny G, Diana Ross and the Supremes, Lionel Richie, Nilsson and heaps more. CDs, $12.99, cassettes, $7.99. Look for the Rainbow display in these stores. Rainbow, way to go. Hurry up, mate. I've got people down south hanging out for these wheat bars. Relax, you'll be out of here soon. Come on, 
stand, there'll be plenty of time for a wheeze bar after we get them all unloaded. Luscious Queensland fruits, creamy thick ice cream. No wonder some Queenslanders would rather keep wheeze bars to themselves. Hurry up, Stan. Or we're leaving without the load. Never. Wheeze bars. Get one, if you can. Following your Wollongong sellout, the smash hit comedy drama Love Letters is returning for one night only. Two of Australia's most popular television and stage actors, Tina Bursell from Home and Away and the Flying Doctor's Andrew McFarlane, tell the story of a couple of very different friends and lovers. Don't miss your last chance to see this hilariously funny, witty and sometimes heartbreaking performance. Proudly presented by Prime Television at the Illawarra Performing Arts Centre on Tuesday, October 29. Bookings on 042 263 366. The world over, this creature is adored. Australia's most famous ambassador. A national treasure facing extinction. Protected, but far from safe. What is killing our precious koalas? A gripping premiere special. If you care, don't miss koalas. The bare facts. Saturday. Extinction means forever. OK, folks, a brand new champion team in the Whitney's. And you played very well, Carol. That was, a, that was a good answer to come back with. You just got there, didn't you? Yes. And here you are, playing the major prize round. And we have Sergeant Mal Whitney. There he is on the headphones, and he joins us in a few moments. He's going nodding off. No, he isn't. <laughs> He's enjoying himself. OK, good luck here, Carol. If you get the 200 points, of course, you get the cash and prizes. And some very good prizes. And here they are. Thank you, Mark. Yes, Rob, maximise your bathroom space with this fabulous spa bar. Strategically placed jets provide a superb all-round massage with air and water mixture controls to adjust water aeration. So relax in the comfort of your own spa from Linden Hydro Spas. From a modest beginning in 1846, these superb pens reflect the commitment to excellence of three generations of craftsmen. Combining the beauty of the Earth's precious metals with today's technical sophistication, these beautiful pens are from Cross. And designed with you in mind, this large capacity auto washer handles family sized loads with ease. The double duty agitator provides a thorough cleaning action and with eight automatic cycles, your preferences are guaranteed. Quality you can count on from Whirlpool. Then two people will spend six days in the sun-drenched with Sundays. This fabulous island resort offers everything from paraflying to just laying on the beach. With superb food and accommodation, this holiday is from Daydream Island, Travelodge Resort and Australian Airlines. Total value. You can have all of those prices, Carol. Uh, yeah, total value, it was uh, $8,000 and there's cash there. 4000 in cash today. And $12,000 in cash and prizes, Carol, good luck to you. Thank you. Well, let's play. Five questions. Time starts at the end of the first question. If you have a problem, if you don't know an answer, you say pass and we'll come back if there's time. It's 15 seconds up on the clock and good luck, Carol. Away we go. Here's question one. Name something kids do during recess at school. Eat. A precious metal. Gold. A word that rhymes with bone. Phone. A type of jam. Strawberry. An animal that doesn't leave a footprint. A snake. Good on you, Carol. <laughs> well, what do you think? Did you play better at home or do you like those responses? Come on, let's have a look. Well, Carol, you were right to the... There was no mucking around there, was there? <laughs> Just off the tip of the tongue they came, one after another. Name something kids do, do during recess at school and you said they play, or they eat, I beg your pardon, you said, yes. The survey said 30 points. Well, a precious metal was question two, and what did you say for this? Gold. Gold. Well, let's try it. The survey said 57. You knew you had to score well there, didn't you? 57 points, question three. A word that rhymes with bone, and you said phone. And the survey said 22, another good score. So you take us over halfway, and we have two more to go. A type of jam. It's everyone's favourite, strawberry jam. The survey said yes, 39. And she's calmly standing here like, oh, you know, I do this every afternoon. An animal that doesn't leave a footprint, and you said a snake. And we'll give this a shot. The survey said... This is a good score. Yes, well done, Carol. Go and join the family. Wait the more clear and come on now. Now, I hope you're good at playing this game. Oh. Hey, you've got a few points to score here. In fact, you've got about 28. Oh. 
What do you think? Can you do that? I love my, my sister-in-law. <laughs> Good on you, Val. 28 points is all we need. So you relax, take it easy, enjoy yourself, and you'll get them no problem. Five questions. If you repeat an answer we've already had, you hear this sound. And we say try again. You're in control, say pass if you have a worry. And we'll come back if we have time. You have 20 seconds, five seconds more than Carol. And all you need is 28 points, Mel. So away we go. Here's question one. Name something kids do during recess at school. Play lunch. A precious metal. Silver. A word that rhymes with bone. Phone. Try again. Cone. A type of jam? Raspberry. An animal that doesn't leave a footprint? Bird. OK. Doesn't matter, Mel. Doesn't matter. We may not need that answer. We may not need that answer. Let's go around and see how you went, Mel. Over this way. As we said, 28 points is all we need. And we have five responses. I'm sure you can do it, Mal. 4000 in cash, $8,000 worth of prizes. I remind you at home, I don't know what the points are. So when I say, I'm sure you can do it, I mean, I hope you can do it. And we'd think you've got a fair shot at it here. Name something kids do during recess at school. You said, play, play lunch. The survey said. Well, eat was uh, the best answer there. There are a lot we could have come up with there, Mal, but play lunch, I'm afraid, wasn't it? Mm. A precious metal we go to for question two. What did you say? Silver. 28 points is what we need. Look at that. We had 57 for gold. The survey said nine points. The top answer was gold. And the next best response was iron. OK, a word that rhymes with bone. You said cone. We need, how many points here? 19. The survey said 18 oh. points. Oh. Bone and stone were the answers. We're not arguing with code, excuse me. <coughs> the excitement's getting to me too, Mel. One point is all we need here. And a type of jam. And you said raspberry. We only want one point for 12,000 in cash and prizes. The survey said... Yes! Yeah. Well done, Mel. Congratulations. Come out here. Come on, Carol, well played. We'll have a look at the other ones. Strawberry and plum jam. And an animal that doesn't leave a footprint, snake and fish. We better say goodnight, Australia. Thanks, folks. Bye now. We choose to fly Australian Airlines. Cast and crew choose to stay at Travelodge all around Australia. Rob dressed by Tony Barlow Menswear. Rob shoes by John Caron Donors. Models dressed by Tony Barlow Menswear. Hairstyles by Stephen. Contestants receive Coke Door chocolates. This is a Grundy Television production for the Seven Network Australia. Mark Malone speaking. Prime Local News. Your link with what's happening in the Illawarra and South Coast. Prime Local News. Compiled by journalists whose work has been shown across Australia, around the world. News you can trust. News that tells it like it is, without fear or favour. Keeping you in touch with the rapidly changing face of the region. News of today. News of the 90s. Prime Local News with Karen Banks, weeknights at 6. Cannon's Food Bar, old-fashioned service in a brand new way. Firm carrot, 79 cents per kilo. Lamb for quarter roast, 1.99 per kilo. Family hot barbecue chickens, 2.99 each. And washed potatoes, 2.5 kilo bag, 1.29 per bag. Cannon's Food Bar, old-fashioned service. In a brand new way. Beware of the Technodrome! Mutagen Man's trapped Napoleon Bonafrag of the Mutant Monocles! And Slash is scrambling Panda Khan's brain! Whoa. Michelangelo's going for Krang, but his plans fell through! Summer. But wait! Here comes Leonardo in the toilet taxi! Uh oh. Watch the ice by radar! Nice.
Let's try, dude. Look out! It's Shredder and Scumbug on the Dirt Digging Mutant Module. This could get dirty. Teenage Super Mutant Sewer Speedsters and the Mutant Evil Technodrome. New from Kroner. Both these delicious meals. Introducing our carryover champions, the Whitney family. Mel, Maggie, Carol, and Tom. And the Caruana family. Karen, Graham, Marty, and Rayleigh. Ready to map it out for $10,200 in cash and prizes on Family Feud. And now, here's the man to control the feud, Rob Brown. And uh, thank you for joining us at home. We have 2,000 in uh, cash today. Get back to score one. Our chance won on the last show, and it's nice to have them with us. The first time as carryover champions, they are the Whitney family. Here they are, folks. Welcome back, Okay, who's playing in the team? The winning team. Well, there's my wife, Maggie, my sister-in-law, Carolyn, and my brother-in-law, Tosh. Well, it doesn't happen very often that you win on the first show, Mel. And uh, very well played. I can't believe it. You've just built a new bathroom, you were saying. Yes. And you've won the beauty wear bathroom products. So you're happy about that, Mel? Yeah. And uh, what did you pick up, Maggie? There was a gold pen set uh, or a holiday. The gold pen set. The I gold think. pen set. <laughs> and we didn't tell the folks on the last show that Carol and Tom have triplets. Three girls, uh, yes, who are just over 12 months of age, I think. Just That's had their right. first birthday. And, and you're going to love this Whirlpool washing yeah, machine, yeah. aren't That's you? exactly right. Definitely. All right. Um, the Australian Airlines, of course, uh, Australian Airlines, fly you to Daydream Island, so there's a wonderful holiday for you all. There was how much cash? About $4,000. 4000 $4, Oh, you've done, you've done very well, haven't you? Congratulations, champs. And today they play the Caruano family. <laughs> Playing on your team. My husband Graham, my brother in law Martin, and my sister in law Raylene. Good luck and lovely to have you with us, Karen. Talking about twins, your husband's uh, an identical twin, I think. Exactly. <laughs> Very well, we confusing. To, we have to ask, how confusing is it? Was, was there an occasion when uh, something <laughs> when they, went wrong? When Graham didn't have a moustache, it was very confusing. That's why I made him grow one. Am I right that uh, Marty, in fact, picked you up from work one day and you didn't know who it was? Or? Um, Graham picked me up from work in Martin's car and I jumped in the car and gave him a big kiss. And I said, why did you pick me up in Martin's car for? And he said, I am Martin. <laughs> but it was you. It was Graham. That's right, yes. Oh, ha-ha. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, get a bit of fun being a twin. Yes, that could have been a lot of fun, Graham. Graham's a glass blower. That's right, yes. Uh, and I wouldn't have thought there are too many of those in this country. No, not at all, no. Uh, it's a European back, Venetian, I think. Yeah, it comes from Venetian. And you involved as well, Martin? Yeah, we both do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Are you teaching the girls? It's trying, trying to. to. <laughs> trying to. <laughs> Patiently, yeah. Well, how are you going at it, Raylou? Um, picking it up. That's the way. Mm. Uh, I hope you're having as much fun with your glass blowing as you did at your hen's party. <laughs> uh, we can't tell that story, Raylou, can we? <laughs> All right. They just had a lot of fun, folks. <laughs> the Caruana family are playing the Whitney's on Family Feud. It's Family Feud, and that's why we can't tell the story. Come on, let's go. <laughs> No, it was very tame. It was very tame. Good luck to you, Karen, and good luck to you, Mel. We've surveyed 100 people. We have their top eight answers up on the board. And the question is, name something you blow on before eating. Yes, Mel? Soup. Is, do we have soup on the board? Top answer, yes. Well done, Mel. The top of the game, pass or play? We play. Let's go, Mel. So the champs are playing. Maggie, name something you blow on before eating. Food. Do we show food on the board? Yes, good answer, Maggie. Well done. So in round one, Carol says hot chips. Well, let's try the board for hot chips. Yes, there's another one. Well, the family's on fire. No strikes as we go down the line. Tom, name something you blow on before eating. A meat pie. Let's see if we can reveal the meat pie. Yes. Good answer. And back with you, Mel. Name something you blow on before eating. Coffee. Let's see if we can show coffee. There's another one. Well, Maggie, can you keep uh, this winning streak rolling? What's oh, your so response? Well. I think curry. OK, we'll give that a shot. Do we reveal curry? Oh, one strike. OK, Carol, name something you blow on before eating. Two strikes. 
One more strike here, Tom, and you know what happens. The Caruana family can steal the points. 76 points is what they can steal. Name something you blow on before eating. I'll have to say a cup of tea. Let's see if we can show tea on the board. Three strikes and three answers left here for you, Karen. So let's see how you go. What do you think, Raylene? Cup of soup. Marty? A hot dog. OK, Graham? Chicken. Karen, you've got three answers to choose from there. Okay. Or one of your own. I'll say porridge. Uh -huh, she's going out on her own. And porridge is the answer we have. If it's up there, the Caruana family have got the points. The steel is theirs. If not, the Whitney family keep 76 points. Let's try the board for the porridge. No! Good start, Quick. Name something you blow on before eating. There were some more answers on the board. What did we have? Hanky, okay. Steak? Blow on a baked potato. Okay. The Caruana family missed out. You didn't have any of those, did you? No. Well, better luck in round two. The Whitney family have 76 points. And we'll leave you for a break, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Who said Sally could go to the concert? But there is no spare ticket. Sorry? She did. I'm going. I can't believe you did that. In Home and Away, tonight on 7. Only one juice can taste as fresh as the original. The original. Fresh squeezed daily with no added sugar, artificial colours or flavouring. The original juice is 100% Australian juice. It's natural, not reconstituted or made from a concentrate. The original juice. Simply, it's fresh squeezed juice without the peel. Ian, our used cars are great. The best in Sydney, George. And I think they're too cheap. And we give a 12-month guarantee with every used car we sell. But other dealers only give a three-month warranty. George, people come to us because they know we look after them. Yeah. Price, choice, and a 12 months guarantee. Why would anyone buy a used car anywhere else? Exactly, George. Dale Ford used cars, both sides of the Hume Highway, Bankstown. Okay, you've seen the rest. Now check out the best at Palm Pools and Spas. Just imagine this at your place a beautiful 10 metre freeform concrete pool with pebble interior, automatic filtration, automatic saltwater chlorinator, beach area, and mini spa. All this for only $49.90, but only from Palm Pools and Spas. We'll even design your landscaping free. This is a genuine off season offer. You'll have to be quick, so ring now 980 6797. Don't miss out. I can't own a home, I don't earn enough. I'll never own. Saving's just too tough. But Woody, no one will look at me. I've never tried. Home owning's not for me. You can, you can with Home Fun. You can. Home Fun in New South Wales. Can. I can, you can, we can. can. With Home Fun we can't fail. You can, you can with Home Fun. You can. can afford a home today. You can do it, you can do it with Home Fun. We did it the Home Fund way. The stars of Showbiz take on your favourite Hey Dad characters, Jenny, Simon, Ben and Arthur McCarver. It's only him you have to worry about, it's not me. Ben at eight. <laughs> Meet Maynard F. Sharp Crabs, Stuart Wagstaff and another Hey Dad favourite, Rachel Beck. No bankrupts, no bankrupts. See the stars at play from 7.30 Saturday on 7. And if you've just joined us, we make you very welcome. Nice to have you back. The Caruana family are on zero and the Whitney family have 76 points. Round two, Maggie. Come on, Ryan. I can't believe that answer. <laughs> <laughs> the question, if you've just joined us, was what do you blow on before eating? And one of the responses uh, our, our teams didn't come up with was hanky. Handkerchief <laughs> before eating. Goodness me. Well, let's play this game, Graham. Okay. This is round two, Maggie. And a brand new question for you. We had the top seven answers up on the board. Now, we've surveyed 100 people. We asked them to name something that might be cramped. Maggie. Your leg. Do we show your leg on the board? <laughs> Top answer. What are we doing, champs? Pass it down. Pass. Pass it over. OK, Graham, we're playing. And, Marty, we start with you. Name something that might be cramped. A muscle. Do we have a cramped muscle on the board? <laughs> yes, that's a good answer. Well done. 
Raylene, something that might be cramped. Clothing in the wardrobe. OK, is there clothing on the board? I'm sorry, Raylene, one strike. OK, Karen, name something that might be cramped. Stomach. Yes, do we show stomach cramps? I thought that was a good answer, Karen. I'm surprised that wasn't there. Two strikes, Graham. One more strike, and the Whitneys can steal your points. 37 points up for grabs. Uh, this is round two. Name something that might be cramped, Graham. Your neck. Do we show a cramped neck? Oh, three strikes. And they've given you every chance here, Mal. There are plenty of answers up there. OK, Tom, what'll we try? Name something that might be cramped. An arm. A car. Carol says a car. Camping ground. Maggie, a camping ground, OK? Well, if you don't like those answers, you go for one of your own. It's up to you, or you can take one of those responses. I did that last night, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mel? Big toe. Your big... Big toe. Your big toe can be cramped. Yep. Well, I wonder what the family think of that. Maggie, are you happy with that response? <laughs> it's too late now, I know, but uh, give us some feeling on this answer. <laughs> hey? He might have one. He's just been on a long bike trip. So. Oh, has he? A cramped toe? Yes. All right. If the cramped toe is up on the board, the Whitney family steal the points. Tom doesn't think it's going to be there. Uh, but if the cramped toe isn't there, the Carolina family keep their 37. Let's go to the board. Do we show a cramped toe? No! Well, what did we have cramped? We had plenty of answers. We had car, sardines, feet, lift. It can cramp your style. I oh, Val, you were nearly there with the feet, weren't you? Cramped yeah. toe. And you had the cramped car. That was your answer, Maggie. Oh, Carol, Carol. I beg your pardon, Carol. Uh, who's one of our top players. Mal, you went out on your own again, didn't you? Right. Two out of two. And you missed it both times. Uh, let's look at the scoreboard. 37 points to the Caruana family. You're still ahead, Mal, anyway. 76 points. The champs are ahead. They're in front. And we'll be back after this commercial break. Tonight, a psychologist analyzes business tycoon Kerry Packer. A man who knows where he wants to go and will use almost every method he can to get there. The final desperate words of a Sydney pilot before his plane crashed. South African cricketers pad up to play in Australia and Paul Keating shows Pavarotti how it's done. You're the top. Here at Cussons, we test Morning Fresh against every other brand, including yours. Morning Fresh is more effective, even though you use far less. That tiny amount cleaned all those dishes. And there's still plenty of suds power to clean this fry pan. It's caked with egg and cooking oil. Morning Fresh cuts through grease faster for a sparkling result, yet uses less. Morning Fresh, it's the very best you can buy. Because there's more fish for sale than swimming in the ocean. More fruit and veggies than abstees to show. More pets to buy. Park Lee Markets, open every Saturday and Sunday, Sunny Holt Road, Park Lee. The great Aussie Barbie. We all know what goes on top, but what should you put down under? With a beautiful barbecue like this, heat beads of course. And for something convenient and easy to use, try our new heat beads match light bag. Put a bag on the Barbie, light your match. Both ends. Bob's your uncle, match light does the rest. They're great for a quick meal at home or a barbie in the bush. <laughs> 